Hello and uh, welcome back again. All right, guys. Um, from the last video, I said uh, that I had some incredible close-up um, images, so we're going to look at those. You can see I've got a lot of stuff at the top here, and I might get a little bit confused, right? So we're just going to have a quick look at what I want to show you, and then we'll go in and it, I will do some explaining. Um, okay. So this is a crop of the big map which I showed you uh, last time and you can see this mottled area in the middle and all these various, I'm using a cursor but so you can't see this when I record it. So okay, let's just get in and have a look. So we will look at this in a minute. Um, and I'll do a bit of work on it for you. I've got some other ones as well because I was interested to see if this um, information in the image um, existed anywhere else and it seems that it does. So you've got to remember this is the detailing on those normal platform structures that we normally look at. And we said before that um, because of the quality of the images, um, you know, what is the surface like, you know, because of the scale of this stuff. So, sorry for repeating myself as usual guys, but if you're new to this, you need to um, view it on a big screen really, and pause and just take the image in. So it might look a bit of a mishmash to you, but I will explain in a bit. Okay, for us, so from this detailing, you can't see my cursor. We move into this detailing. And uh, surprisingly enough, this, you know, this is what is in the image. Don't really know what to say. Okay. So you can see what we normally look at. These big blocky areas. And I'm going to show you how we get this detail out. So you can imagine, I mean, this has taken me as long as like a, like a big map. Let's just move over. Oh no. Oh, it's on a different one. Okay, hello Ro, thank you, or maybe thank you not for um, completely doing my head in. Okay, so the area I was talking about yesterday, which I briefly showed you about, is this area here. I'm going to be jumping around a lot, so bear with me. Okay, is what I believe is Karpinski and the Milikovic Rico area. We'll be looking at this area. Um, I wish I could enlarge this. Don't, it doesn't give you. Okay. So I said yesterday, you can see in this what well, I can see in this. You're probably not. You, if you're on a phone, you, you're not going to see anything. that this is riddled with um, structures, basically. This is very handy. There's something I want to show you here. You can, uh, there's different, um, what do you call them, modules, lunar orbiters, um, 
So we're on this one here. I show you it gives you different types of um, images. Right, check this. This is really unusual. So from that one I first showed you, you can see these lines here. I hope you can see them. And they do run through. See, there's lots of stuff. Now what is that? These lines may have been added, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but okay, so th this is the area. Um, this is a uh, I can't remember. Is it this one? No, it's not. It's this one, and it just looks like a damaged image. What does that say? It's the Milan or Kov Rico Kapinski. So that is the area, but this is a different angle, I think. You're going to have to bear with me here, guys. So you see this area here. This sort of weird raised bit. Now I believe that that is the front of this one, okay? This is pixelating, this is not a uh, So I believe it's this area here. Not entirely sure. I believe that this is taken from you know from a different a different angle. It's so difficult to you know everything seems to be in different places and stuff like that. So I've done my best to try and locate this area. So you remember the lines I showed you? these lines so it's coming across there if you can work it out I've only just I've only just found this basically so we have these lines and I will be doing a full enhancement of this I've only just started it but you can see these lines running through the image so is that something to do with what I just showed you? I don't know. This here. This is basically just a shadow. So when I show you this, um, I'll probably I might leave this so I can do some work on it and show you what is hidden in the um shadows basically right so okay let's go to here this is the one i just showed you i've done some more work on it okay so you can see what we're looking at you can see these blocky details with just a hint of you see these little bits and I thought that was pixelation when I first looked at um, when I was doing this image that one you can't see because it hasn't been enlarged so I was noticing those little sort of um, Flecky bits, and I just kept going into the image. Okay, right, sorry guys, what I'm going to do right, 
right underneath this I took a took a sliver okay so this was a sliver of from underneath it was something else that I saw I'm going to show you another one as well with quite a prominent um, structure so you can see the details starting to come through okay you can see tiny little things Have to make this bigger yeah I was amazed that it was doing this I was a bit boggled and freaked out so we can see this stuff starting to come through now like, like I was saying earlier you know with my full enhancements and then you start losing the geological features you know crater, craters and stuff like that because there is so much going on in the images and I want to get as much out of them as I can so this is how it starts so from if we look if we look at this area at the bottom or up here that's what we used to see in okay so then from this one there's more and more work being done on it so you can't see a lot at the moment because I have to it how do things in different stages so now you can see more and more detail coming in to me on my screen now I'm starting to lose this it's just looking you know like an abstract thing on a phone it might work so basically I was just searching around trying to find details so then you can check this area out here so what we're looking at is the surface detail obviously of the big chunky stuff that we're seeing do but I'm trying to keep the videos shorter so this is just the midtone which is solely working on the midtones at the moment should use a bigger thing here so you can see it's starting to pull more detail out it's not actually doing that, it's just working on the midtones. It's weird how it works, and like the closer you get in and the smaller the the tool here that you use, and over here you have the pixel, so I'm working at twenty-three pixels at the moment and obviously it concentrates on a smaller area bringing more detail out only if it's there though but obviously we found this I mean this is crazy so like we've spoken about we're saying well we imagine that you know if we could get in close enough that there's going to be more and more detail now I haven't looked at anything the uh, the Google map I was going to do it and try and work out some scaling to try and work out how big 
you know, some of these are. So it's a case of just continually working on this stuff and doing that process over and over again. Especially at this sort of level. When we zoom out and you get a visual, it, 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 you get more clarity from, but like I say, it works at different levels depending on what you're looking at this on. So this detail here has come from this blotchy uh, mess here. So again, whoops, not that one. Ah, burn mid-tones, yeah. So we'll go in again. I suppose it's a bit of a bit of a tutorial here. So slowly but surely it's going to refine and refine and refine until, you know, I could make this image bigger. It's reasonably large now. What's the size? See, I could go much, much larger. But from the original image, it comes in really big. It's some, something like 18,000 pixels which I've had to look up about because I used to work in DPI. Apparently 300 DPI is like 90,000 pixels or something like that, if you're interested. <laughs> so you can see what we have to do. But isn't it crazy? It, it's totally amazing that this detail is in the image. see it all coming through I mean it's there it, it's there it's like a tiny tiny version of the the larger stuff that we've been looking at so what I was pointing out you can see how this becomes very confusing until we get very very close to it so th this you see how it's getting busier and busier and busier it's the same image so if you could imagine a really big image with the amount of detailing that I've just showed you here it, <laughs> it would just look like one great big until you get very close to it. Okay, right. If that made any sense to you. Okay, so I chose another area. Um, here you can't really see it. This is the area we're looking at, and that's initially where I found it. It's what I showed you yesterday. So I chose an area down here, which I think we can see on this one. So that's the area there. That's Kapinski. See, I, it, everything looks different, doesn't it? So this area here, I did this earlier on. I thought was quite an interesting shape and stuff. See how this is raised, there's a shadow under there. Very industrial looking, but no detail. Okay, right, so. 
remember that. Okay, so here it is. Now, from there, let's just have a look. So if you zoomed in on something, you just go, oh, it's pixelating, I can't really, there's nothing there. Uh, this is it. So from there, we went to here. Now I was using, this was obviously in RGB mode, so you can use color. And like I said before, the, the more you lay down with the different um, dodge and burn shades, um, the colors start saturating and then I would move to a grayscale which I'll show you so from there you can start seeing the details coming in you see this area here okay so if we have a quick look at that again uh -huh. Is it that one we're looking at? Yeah. Okay, here's more. See how it's fluffing out now. Uh, on the next video, I'll probably show you if I can work out some sort of scaling on the um, Google Moon. We can try and work out what sort of length this is. So then we can start understanding the size of these tiny little individual stuff. So from there, I went to here. So I'm going to show you some bits and bobs on this one. So you can get a, a grasp of it. Just let me sh check this is. Uh, okay, it's not that big. Like I just showed you. So this is what, what was happening. So I don't know if you can see that or not. But you can just about see the information coming through. So I'm just going to do a few little bits here. the end of the, the last video um, you know you get more more to watch type sort of things I think um, one of those videos was the 62 image of the moon and that had some detail I think it did I didn't get a chance to look at it before I put it up there Okay, so can we can see these tiny? This, this, this is not pixel. This is the, this stuff has purpose. So you can see it's like a tiny version of this larger stuff that we've been looking at. So what's in there? You can see I'm not. I can go any direction I like. It's just picking up on the information in there. Tutorial talk. Okay, so let's just blast it with some of that. So guys, it, this is something that only the select few have ever seen, ever.
you know, is there someone who monitors these these type sort of subjects, or they just let you get on with it? They let you get on with it, don't they? You know, he's just saying, oh, yep, yeah, he's 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 found it. So we'll go back to the other one in a minute because it's a much larger image and I think we'll be able to get much, much closer. So he's very busy, there's lots going on. Yeah, it's pixelating there. I'll give, give it one more blast. So let me have a look at the other one in a minute. I'm just going to keep going on it. And see how far into the image I can get. You know, still th this is uh, this is crazy. So look what sort of detail we're getting out. This looks like one of the normal maps I do, but we do just look how far in we are. It's nuts, okay. Let's pop back to this one. So this is an area I started, I did earlier. Okay, changing the subject, I was looking, uh, like I was saying in the last video, to. I've just been looking through things and stuff is jumping out at me and I was um, had a quick look at um, some Mercury images Maria, Ma Mariner 10 and there's some great stuff a really good example of um, stuff hidden in shadows now to me as well on this it looks to me as though they which they would work on these images at this level so there is there's there's some office somewhere that is working on this stuff at this level so where are we we are pixelating see the different stages from this big old blobby thing here and then into this and then to this so this little section here though even though it doesn't stand out was the first time I noticed it you see this And it's stuff like that that makes me think, well, it's, it's quite obvious that they've worked on this stuff at this level. Areas have been blocked out. That's when you get edges like this. But let's have a look in there, see if there's anything in there. What are we on? Okay. Yeah, 
yeah, that's blocked out. So you can't, there's nothing, nothing else in there. And I'll show you an area which isn't blocked out, which you can see visually. This area. Okay. You see how it's immediately changing colour. It's funny how the, these areas, that, that this close in, is treated the same way as the, the, the stuff that we've been coming across doing the other maps. When I say map, I mean the photos, but I just call them maps. See how far we can get back in there. Yeah, see that's not something you can really play with. It's getting a bit funky. Here though, see, so yeah, it's like it's sort of squeezing. You know, you can imagine how long the, 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 the full, um, the dark side would take to do. But every time I do something now, we'll be having a very close look to see what we can find. I mean, this is, do, 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 you could say that this is more or less getting down to street level. How crazy is this? Okay, so let's go in there and have a look. Yeah, so yeah, it needs to be much larger. But I will have a look. That's the reason I say always, that's why I don't like using the contrast initially too much because you can lose what's in the um, shadows. And a good percentage of the time is that they don't address those shadows. So you can find stuff which is a lot more crispy shall we say so we can see more detail so there we have it if you're new and you have no idea what you're looking at then just give it a bit of time and we'll get there so there you have it never ever seen before more or less street level you can see it look Look at this stuff. Oops. Insane.
is just nuts. Okay, let me know what you think. Um, wow. You can see in the image, you know, like I say, with the, the, the other sort of scaling that we work on. That some areas are better than other areas. Look at that. Who is it? Who is this? Okay. Built. Totally built. It's just everywhere. So you have it. Uh, there you have it. Um, it's just mind blowing. I mean, how else, what other way could you describe what we're looking at? Of course, I'm, you know, I'm used to looking at this stuff, but... Now, even if you can't get your head around the scale, um, you would say that it's industrial sort of machine-like looking construct. So there you go. It's flipping crazy. Okay, I might do something else today as well. I've got all sorts of bits and bobs out there, so... Um, I've probably got a week left and then I'm going to be rushed off my feet. So uh, nice one, guys. I will see you soon.